here we go we've got our perimeter and combining like terms video so we are going to take our polygons and find the perimeter of them um, as you can see that we're dealing with variables so when remember when you're adding so to find perimeter we're adding all the sides up when we're adding um, we have to you can only combine like terms like terms are variables that are the same so let's try it uh, I'm going to add the y's first 5y and 1y is 6y 6 and 2 is 8 8 and 2 is 10 so we have 10y and we have a whole number plus 6 and since the 6 and the 10y are unlike the 10 has a variable y the 6 does not that's as far as we can go we cannot combine anything else the polygon itself has one set of parallel lines one pair I should say of parallel lines um, these sides the left and right are not parallel they're equal um, two equal sides makes it isosceles but the actual name for this shape is a trapezoid if you want to put an isosceles trapezoid or try to spell the word isosceles and bring it to class I might have a little bonus for you so that is the perimeter of the trapezoid let's move on so this shape um, we're gonna add the like terms first I see a bunch of F's around here I see a fractions let's deal with them first get them out of the way a half and a half is one whole one whole and five gets a six so we have six F's so far there's a 7F there, and there's an 8F, so a total of 8Fs, and two whole numbers left, a 7 and a 7 gets you 14, that is the perimeter, again, they are unlike terms, we don't know what F is, so we leave them as they are. A uh, five-sided figure, we've been over this many times, is a pentagon, and in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, um, there's a pretty important building there, you can see why it's called the Pentagon. Number 12, uh, combine like terms again. I'm going to combine the R's first. 12 and 4, 16 R's. And I'm going to combine the D's. 2D, this is minus 1D. Now 2 minus 1 is 1D, or just plain old D. I have these 4.5's left, 4 and a half, so I'm going to add 4 and 4 is 8, a half and a half is a whole. 8 and 1 whole gives us 9. All these terms are unlike three terms here, two terms here in number 10, two terms here in number 11, three terms here, separated by addition signs. Um, if you take a look at the shape, it's the same as the shape in number 10. That is another trapezoid. Looks a little different. Only one pair of parallel lines. On to number 13, let's start with the I's. 4I and 5I is 9. There's another 9 that gets us 18 I's. There are y's left. Now let's see the decimals here. A point two and a point two. That's going to. I'm just going to think of this as point two and point two is point four. At the end, when we're done adding these together, it's going to be something point four. Okay, point four. So take the whole numbers nine and four and five. If we add all those together, you get eighteen. Keep the point four with it. There's your eighteen point four. That is the perimeter. I and y are different variables. They are unlike. Therefore, we can't combine them. Uh, the shape has six sides. A six-sided figure is called a hexagon. Six has an X. Hex has an X. Easy way to remember it. All right, we have a bonus here. So find a place where you can write this one in. You don't have this on your paper. Draw that shape. Hit stop and draw the shape. And actually, you might want to hit stop again and write down what the name of the shape is. Write the name of the shape. Okay, four-sided figure, all the sides are the same. That is a rhombus. The reason that it's not a square is because it does not have four right angles. You can see it's kind of a square that's tilted. A, the difference between a rhombus and a square is it has the, a square would have four right angles. Okay, if I told you that one of the sides is one and one-third N, we know that all the sides are one and one-third because it's a rhombus, equal sides. So we need to find the perimeter still. So we can add 1 and 1 third plus 1 and 1 third plus 1 and 1 third plus 1 and 1 third, but that seems a little tedious. So since there's four sides, why don't we multiply that? Um, you can see that I took the 1 and 1 third. This is a mixed number. I made it improper to four thirds. Quick reminder, 3 times 1 is 3 plus 1 is 4. There's your four thirds. Um, you can put the 4 over 1 if you want to. 
Um, when you multiply that out, you're going to get 16 thirds. That is an improper fraction. You need to simplify it. 3 goes into 16 5 times, which is 15. Gives you one left over, 5 and 1 third. Remember, we're, we're, even though we multiply, we really just are putting all four of these sides together, combining them. So don't forget your variable n, 5 and 1 third n. Flip. So this says in the diagram of the pentagon below, the variables represent the lengths of the sides in inches. So you see a pentagon, it has five sides. Um, all the links are variables, or you have some sort of variable in them. Write an expression using the variables G and E that could be used to find the perimeter. So we're going to find the perimeter. Um, let's use the G's first. I see one G, two G's, three G's. So I would cross them out as I use them if I were you. Um, the E's, let's try those. I see two E's and one E is three E's. But this has a minus one. So three E minus one gives me two. It's plus because we're combining these. Anything else left that you haven't crossed out looks to me like there's a subtract 3, like so. Why is this an expression? This is an expression because I don't see an equal sign or an answer. All right, if you look down here, it says G equals 7 and E equals 4. So now we are told what the variables are. First of all, i got a typo here. This is not a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral would have four sides, so why don't you cross yours out and put a pentagon like we already said. I apologize for that. We know what G is, we know what E is. So we need to put these numbers in for these variables. You better know what that num what that name of that word is when you put a number in place of a variable. Very important. When I do that, this step from here to here Substitution, substitution, substitution. So, these are smushed, that means multiply. These are smushed, it means multiply, so I'm doing that first. 3 times 7 we know is 21, Three times or 4 times 2 we know is 8. Remember, we're going from left to right. Now i got to do 21 minus 8, or sorry, 21 plus 8, which is 29, and 29 minus 3 gives us 26 inches. Perimeter combined like terms.